it's Jen and today I'm going to share my mommy favorites with you from the 11 to 12 month range. Um, Charlotte will be a year old very very soon in just a couple of weeks. It's hard to believe it. Um, I will do a one year update for her but that probably won't come until later in January because we're going to be away in Utah and then when we come back we're going to go to her one year doctor's appointment and then I just then it's her birthday party and I need to get settled back at home. It's just going to be a little while before I do that. But hopefully late January, early February, I'll have that up for you guys. And just to let you know, this is going to be, my I think, my last Mommy Favorites video for now. I'm going to take a little break from it. I'm going to start including just one or two items in my Lifestyle Favorites, starting with the January Favorites, so not the December ones, but the January ones. Um, and I'll just tack them on at the end of that. And then maybe at like the 18 month period and the two month mark, I'll do like kind of a bigger, more general favorites as well as a, as well as a Charlotte update for you. Um, I haven't quite decided yet, but I think a lot of you seemed excited about that. Um, and I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just fixing something. Does anybody else notice like as a mom, you just have to fix things constantly. I think that's just my personality, to be honest. I, I have to fix things constantly. Like, if there's something unzipped, I have to zip it. Or unbuttoned, I have to button it. <laughs> okay, so today I have mainly toys and some clothing things and one snacky food accessory item thing uh, that I'm going to share with you because that was what I could think of today <laughs> and things that I've thought of um, that have been important to us over the last month. Um, so starting with toys, of course, any 11 month old is all about toys. And there's a few things that have been real highlights for uh, Charlotte over the last month. And a couple which were a gift from our neighbors actually. It was a really nice gift. Um, Cause I didn't even know these toys existed until they gave them to us. This little school bus is so cute. Um, oops, this guy's upside down. So it's like a little wooden toy and you know, it's, it's got wheels, it moves. Um, but the little guys, they, um, they come flying out when you when you do that to them. You just push on them and they, there's a little spring underneath. They come flying out. Charlotte loves to, she figured that out so fast how to do that. I was kind of impressed with her to be honest because I was like I didn't even know the toy did that until I figured it out one day and then once she saw me do it she started doing it. But the little stick she likes to chew on. She's teething like mad. Her molars are coming in. Oh boy. I mean I don't know if you guys can even see but there's like teeth marks all over this thing. She's, I'm not sure she's supposed to be eating this but she is and I'm just going with it but definitely has been a favorite. And if any of you have tips on how to um, teach your baby how to let you look in their mouth like how to open their mouth for you um, she won't let me look so I'm pretty sure some or one at least of her molars is coming in because it just seems that way from her actions but I can't look and it's hard to feel too because she just clamps down on my finger which is kind of painful um, so any tips on that would be great because I don't want to like force her mouth open but I've been trying to like show her like ah open your mouth and letting her touch my teeth but well whatever let me know what you guys think the other gift that uh, toy that was a gift from our neighbors is this little um, carton of eggs which again is another favorite so it comes with these little eggs in it which are different colors and they actually make a little noise they make a little squeaking noise and then the bottom of each egg has a different shape she's not really into shape sorting yet that's a little bit I think that's a little bit further down the line in terms of advancement, but she loves this toy. She loves clanging. She loves anything that makes like an interesting noise. So clanging the eggshells together, squeaking the little eggies, um, throwing the carton so all the eggs come flying out, and then chewing on the carton. It's just fun. And I don't know the um, all the brands to these toys. Um, I will have them linked below if I can find them for you. And last, but not least, certainly not least, this has actually been a standby favorite for the past couple of months. She really didn't show much interest in it until two or three months ago. Uh, but ever since then, she's loved it, and she still loves it, and she loves it when we stack them up for her, and then she, like, tears them down. And she's just starting to get to the point where she's interested in what it means to stack them. I think we're just starting to get to that point um, on her own. Uh, but she still loves to, to have them stacked and she just kind of gets so excited she can't wait for the stack to get all the way up. She has to like knock them down right away. It's so cute. But she also likes banging these together and, and kind of gumming on them too. These little star cups are, have been great. Um, just a great kind of all around baby toy. And that's the toy portion. I did want to talk about this little bear suit um, from Columbia. I think they actually call it like a fox. I don't know if it's supposed to be a fox. To me, it's a bear. But this hot, like, magenta fuchsia bear suit. 
has come in so handy over the past month because we've had some pretty cold weather and especially now um, and it's just great it's a nice fleece bunting so it's an all-in-one bunting um, zip up kind of style the little hands and feet fold over for extra kind of warmth protection and the little feet have little paws on the bottom which I think is adorable it fits her so so well they do run a bit big Charlotte is actually already in 18 to 24 month clothing if you can believe it she is so long um, but this runs a little long I bought the 18 to 24 month for her but she was just swimming in it so this is the 12 to 18 and I think we'll still get another few weeks out of this at least if she keeps growing at this rate um, but we wear this for walks when it's warm enough I don't take the girls out if it's under 20 degrees that's just a little bit too cold um, and this week has definitely been that cold but even when I'm taking her out for errands and I know we're only going to be out of the car for like a couple of minutes I'll put her in this and I can just unzip the top half of it when we're in a store and kind of pull it down so she doesn't overheat or anything but it's just so easy and such a great solution and just a nice full body like coverage that I I'm certain about I still like when we're out for walks and stuff I still tuck her in with a blanket I just bought stroller bunting by JJ Cole so we'll see how that goes um for extra protection for extra warmth I mean um but even on errands, that is great because it's it's just fleece. It's thin enough to wear under her car seat, too, under her straps and her car seat. It's still safe. And a couple other clothing items I want to talk about were our shoes. I can't remember if I've mentioned the freshly picked moccasins before. We were actually sent a pair of these as a gift from one of um, my viewers, which was really lovely gift because uh, I hadn't really heard of them before. I think I'd heard of them, but I didn't know much about them. Um, and we've bought pairs for every size since. Um, and my favorite are these kind of platinum gold ones. So I think I've had these in a newborn in size one, and now she's in size two. For as long and you know, like just big as Charlotte is in terms of like height. She has teensy tiny feet. She has basically six month size feet. It's, she's a, she's a funny girl, that one. Uh, she's got tiny little feet. <laughs> They're so cute. So we're still in size two um, crib shoes, basically, but she'll, she'll be able to walk in these. I see lots of babies um, and toddlers walking in their, in their moccasins. Moccasins, I can never say that right. Um, she's not walking yet. I think she's gonna be a, a, like a late bloomer in the walking department. Maybe something to do with her tiny little feet and the fact that she will only stand on her tippy tippy toes. So she's like this huge, very long baby and with all this, you know, top heavy weight with all of her length and her big head and all that, and then she's good standing on her tiny feet on her tiptoes. She's hilarious. Anyway, um, these have been great. Uh, I didn't put these on her a lot in the summer because I just felt like they made her feet too hot, but we wore them a ton throughout the fall and winter. I mainly only put them on her when we're leaving the house. Um, so mainly to go on errands or to go visit family, go out to dinner, that sort of thing. And then these are a more recent acquisition. I've had these for about a month now, and these are by Ugg. And I don't know exactly what they're called, but again, I'll have them linked below. And these are just little, really cozy booties. They have grippers on the bottom, so that's something to think about. They're so padded and cushy on the bottom. They're, they feel like slippers, um, and they're warm. And they have a nice Velcro attachment that's pretty strong Velcro. She hasn't, she hasn't really tried that much to get it off, but she hasn't gotten them off. I think one time she did by accident because she was like flailing her leg against the car edge of the car seat and it just popped off. But um, really great little shoes and, and what I put on her when it's cold and we're heading out. Um, so those have been great. And then last but not least, the snacky food item I was gonna talk about. We are all about Cheerios lately. I was giving her puffs from like six months until about nine or ten, about, about ten months. And I was like, oh wait, I could just give her Cheerios. <laughs> so I bought Cheerios and I was like, I didn't know if she would like them because the puffs are a little bit sweet. They have, you know, they're fla you know, they're meant to taste like certain vegetables and fruits and things. These aren't flavored at all. And to me, they kind of taste like cardboard. It's just regular Cheerios or just, I think it's just oat based Cheerios, right? She loves them. We have Cheerios every day. And I think, oops, sorry, part of the novelty of the Cheerio experience is the snack cup. This is by Munchkin, and it's their snack cup. And the ones we had originally bought, we had bought a set of two that didn't have the lid. And I always thought it was kind of stupid that they didn't have the lid. I was like, how, it's just, they got stale so fast, like you couldn't store them in there. Well, and then I saw that they made the one with the lid, I was like, okay, we're gonna get this instead. So we passed on those other ones, and we are now all, all about this one. So it's got the little lid that snaps on to keep things fresh and intact. But then it 
pops onto the bottom for when she wants to snack. And it's still got the handle, which is great for her. She, we've been using a snack thing like this for a few months. She figured this out pretty early on too. She, when it comes to food stuff, Charlotte is like way ahead of the game with food stuff. She, she always catches on really fast to food things. Like she started drinking out of a straw at nine months. She, I mean, she's just, every baby has the things that they're, you know, a little bit faster at and a little bit slower at. So like I said, might be a little while before we're walking, but um, definitely up on our game on eating. Um, but at any rate, she just loved, she just loved this and I had to, I had to mention it because it's not only a food favorite and a snack accessory favorite, but like a, kind of a playtime, a toy uh, favorite too because she, it, you know, she loves it and, and it really is pretty good. It's pretty spill proof. Like we, I let her have it, you know, anywhere really. And I felt like the older model that didn't have the lid wasn't as rigid and the Cheerios just went everywhere, but with this one they just kind of... They stay in a bit better until she actually puts her hand in. That's not to say she doesn't like pull out a whole handful and throw that around, she does, but they don't kind of come out on their own. Anyway, those were our 11 to 12 month favorites because that was what I could think of today. <laughs> I'm sure there are other things, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you guys enjoyed this whole year of favorites. Um, there were so many posts I wanted to do that I just didn't get to um, postpartum things and, and newborn favorites and things like that. And, Maybe someday I'll get to them, or maybe if we're blessed with another child, I'll have an opportunity then. Um, but I wanted to thank you for sticking with me throughout this year and all of the transitions I've gone through personally in my life and how that's affected my posting style and schedule. And I just appreciate your support so much. So thank you. Thank you for that. And like I said, I will have an update for you guys. Uh, one year kind of check in uh, with Charlotte. That won't be about products. That will be about her because I've talked, I've talked about stuff enough for now. Uh, that should be sometime, hopefully, late next month. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this and that you are all well and enjoying a cozy, comfy, joy-filled holiday season, and I will see you real soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.